Hey guys, my name is Chaotic and in this video I'm going to be going over why the DLC has been delayed and has not been released today even though there was a lot of information suggesting that the 1.17 update and the DLC was going to be released today on September 17th. So let's get straight into this video. So if you haven't already realised, today is in fact the one year anniversary for the official release of GTA 5 on PS3 and the Xbox 360. So of course with today being the anniversary, there was a huge speculation and a lot of information to go with it, suggesting today was going to be the day where they released the 1.17 update as well as the Heist DLC to mark the anniversary. So with today being such a large milestone and a very important day for both Rockstar and GTA 5, you would expect something to be released to mark this date and also celebrate the fact the game is now a year old. And how better can you celebrate today by releasing the most demanded feature throughout the GTA 5 community, that of course being the Heist DLC, which has been highly demanded for the past few months ever since some information leaked throughout the GTA 5 community suggesting a heist feature may be introduced into GTA 5 Online. Earlier in the year, Rockstar released some information and told us directly that the heist DLC was going to be released during the summer of 2014. And of course now the summer rapidly coming to the end and we still don't have the heist DLC, so there is a huge amount of speculation as to when we're actually going to be getting that DLC. So of course we haven't received the Heist DLC or any other form of DLC whatsoever, but there are many reasons for this why the DLC itself has been delayed. First of all there is still the problem of money lobbies, I'm sure now if you go onto any GTA 5 forum or if you search it up on YouTube, you search up GTA 5 money lobbies, you'll find several posts and videos about this and they're just basically lobbies you can go into and get yourself millions and millions of dollars on GTA 5 very very quickly. This of course is a major problem for Rockstar because now not only is there a huge amount of money throughout the GTA 5 economy, people also are not buying shark cards because they no longer need to, which means Rockstar's profits are also going to decrease slightly. This of course is a major problem for Rockstar and I imagine is one of their main priorities to try and remove from GTA 5 as soon as possible before they release any more DLCs. There is of course still the problem of hack garages as well, so this is basically an infection and when you go from lobby to lobby you'll transfer the different infections and you'll also pass them on to other people in the game. And certain items as well including the shipping containers, bouncing cars and body parts are just a few things which you can find inside your garages as well as the problem of the ferris wheel and the UFOs spawning around the map randomly. And not to forget, another priority for Rockstar is also the release of GTA 5 on next gen consoles. With the release of GTA 5 coming to the Xbox One and PS4 on November 18th, that is a huge priority which Rockstar is currently focusing on. So with all that being said, there are a number of different things which Rockstar is currently focusing on at the moment, hence why the DLC itself hasn't been released today and has been delayed to a later date. There is however a date which I would like to speculate upon and suggest as the next DLC release and that date is September 23rd. Not only is this date a Tuesday, which of course is the day when all DLCs are released, but it's also the start of fall and with fall, also known as autumn if you're in the UK, being a special date, Rockstar will most likely release it on this day as recently for the past few DLCs they tried to release them on days which have a meaning or some form of celebration upon. So there you have it guys, that is all I have for today's video, I hope you guys have enjoyed this information. If you guys could just take a few seconds out of your day to click the like button it would help me out a lot and it's also greatly appreciated. Also be sure to leave a comment on this video and tell me what you guys thought and if you haven't subscribed to my channel already I recommend that you do because I upload all the latest and the greatest Grand Theft Auto 5 content. So anyway guys, thank you for watching and I will see you guys next time.